That'd be an old school Monte Carlo. So yeah, you see how gray and crappy it is out here. It's pretty much drizzling on me. I am working on a 2001 Ford Ranger with a 3.0 liter engine. The code you can see on the screen right here is a P0340 cam position sensor circuit fault. A P1000 means someone was in here and cleared the codes. And then our P0401 insufficient flow. I'm going to do this one as fast as possible. I'll put a link in here for the other videos where I do more detailed testing on the EGR system and on the cam sensor. I don't know how deep I'll get into that. I may need to put a scope on it. But I'm gonna address the EGR code first. And this system uh, is very common. It's very common for the DPFE sensor to fail. That's this component right here. That stands for delta pressure feedback. Depending on the material that you read, it may actually call it a differential pressure feedback. Uh, in any case, it is a flow sensor for the EGR system. There's an EGR solenoid that's computer controlled right here that um, I'm going to energize actually by simply putting my finger over the bleed. So I'm gonna pop this cap off to start with. And uh, I've had some comments from you guys about breaking these caps and of course yeah they break so you know you want to be careful when you're popping these off um, there's other ways to do this again I will throw some links of some other videos I've done in the past where what we can do is we can take the control wire of the computer and we can we can give it the polarity that it needs which in in the case of Ford's is a ground there's the cap and there's a little filter inside and so the first thing I'm going to do is start the car put my finger over the bleed hole that's in the top and that should force the EGR valve to open the idle should get real rough and we should see DPFE voltage change so common problem is this another common problem would be plugged up passages in the throttle body uh, let's focus on the scan tool here for a second I need to pull up my data Hopefully this gives me a DPFE sensor data PID. Uh, PID stands for parameter identification. It's just a piece of data we're looking at on the screen. There it is right there. So before we even begin, this voltage reading of 0.12 on this DPFE sensor tells us this sensor is faulty. Um, or we have a wiring problem, most likely faulty sensor. These should be about a half a volt to one volt with the key on. Go ahead and start the car. I'll wait one sec. We're gonna do the test anyway to make sure the rest of the EGR system is working. Um, we want to hear the idle get real rough on this and I want to see my DPFE voltage rise to near four volts um, at, well, at a higher RPM to get it to that. So you'd have to hold it at 1500, then do the test, and you wanna see four volts. Uh, I'll talk about that again in a second. Go ahead and start the car. Wait till this clutch fan shuts off so I'm not yelling. All right, apologize for the noise. Uh, I'm not using my external mic. I'm going after the camera mic. Um, this engine's cold, so we're still kind of in a cold, fast idle mode. Watch the DPFE, I'm gonna put my finger over the hole. That's what we want. One more time, I'll let you listen to the engine. I'm about 1300 RPM on my cold fast idle. That's good, that's good flow on that EGR system. You see my DPFE voltage never changed. Okay, so let's talk about that test real quick. Um, what we wanna see on that is we want to see the DPFE voltage rise to about four volts when we do that test. But if your RPM gets too low and almost stalls it, that DPFE voltage won't rise to that four volt level. So what I'll do is hold it to 1500 RPM, then redo the test, looking for four volts on the DPFE sensor for good flow on these Ford systems. 
On this one, no reaction. And so what we have is a messed up DPFE sensor. There's one final check that I'm going to do to this one. And it is a simple unplug it test on the sensor. And this should go to five volts. If that goes to five volts unplugged, our wiring integrity is good. Our circuit is fine. This needs a DPFE sensor. There are other things involved checking the five volt ref, checking the ground. There's reasons that I do not need to do that on this one. I'll let you guys watch the other videos that I'll post in here for the DPFE tests. In short, the reason I don't need to worry about the sensor ground is I would have high voltage all the time with a bad sensor ground, not low voltage. And with a faulty reference, which is the feed coming in, I again would not have this low voltage signal on the sensor. This is a bad DPFE. All you guys would need to troubleshoot this, not a big expensive scan tool, just something basic that gives you DPFE um, voltage on the scanner. Uh, your generic scan tools will not provide you that information and so you would have to check this with a voltmeter. A voltmeter can be done. I have methods I'm showing on those other videos for that. Um, so really a basic scan tool getting codes. A voltmeter, put your finger over the EVR solenoid, force the valve open. Uh, really that's all you need to do. The last comment on this, we'll move to the cam sensor, is if this idle did not get rough, when we put our finger over this solenoid, further testing must be done. What that means is you don't need a DPFE and you have a restricted passage or something along those lines, faulty EGR valve. Most common cause is restricted passages when you put your finger over this and it doesn't react. So uh, in this case right away though, we were able to, to identify a faulty DPFE sensor. Um, I think what I'll do is I will end this one and we'll do a separate video for the cam sensor. So we'll just title this one, how to quickly test a Ford DPFE sensor.